you hardcore boxing fans like them, how are you doing? It's Big P here. Right, where are we, Stig? At the Rabbit House on Epsom Downs. Right yeah. in the centre. Go, go yeah. round. Well, this is Epsom Racetrack, innit? Yeah. Stig's fetched me here. <laughs> I'm going to treat him because I'm stopping at his gaff tonight. Yeah. So he's paying for an old town. Right. you got a lovely new bed. We've got a new what? You've got a lovely new bed, you yeah. know. You'll be fucking jumping in my bed. <laughs> right. Sorry, I'm going to give Stig his moment. He's took me for a blast in his 350Z, nearly killed me. I'm going to give him his moment now. He wants to come on the channel and answer some boxing questions because he says he's hardcore, so... No, I've never said I'm not hardcore. I'm happy to say I'm a casual, but improving slowly. Right. I'm just going to sit here, Stig, now. And Isn't this lovely, Russ? Yeah, it's all right here, mate. That's can we do a, can we Epsom, do a sit? Epsom, Epsom, uh, where right, people, that's the is that where you stand, isn't it? Where you're cheering horses on. Exactly, yeah. Oh, Kev, that's where Kev will love it here, won't he? Kev would love it here, yeah, this is Kev territory. He's uh, He's got horses, but he's, uh, he's only run at Newcastle and York and Donny. Right, you've got your moment, Stiggy. Say hello to Nicola. Hi, Nicola. <laughs> Russ, can we Nicola's do a six? Can we, can we prove that I've got a six pack? <laughs> go on then, Stig. Go on no, then, I'm not going to show it. I want you to feel that and see if Stig. Feel that and see oh, if I've, I've, have I got a washboard tummy. Stig. Right. No. Right, what's that got to do with boxing? Your stomach, Stig. Right, let's well, start now then. Right. Just happens to be true. Right. <laughs> where, where do you think Tyson Fury goes for at the moment, Stig? Where's he heading? Uh, he's heading to at least eight years of world domination and he's going to become a mega massive. Do you Superstar. feel vindicated, Stig, after oh, mate. our last video went down here when I said Tyson Fury's... Yeah, of course I do. Well. Yeah, but uh, t t t in all fairness, Russ, yeah. you... Once, after the, t after the second Wilder fight, you phoned me up and you put me on your channel and uh, said to be oh, fair... Oh, you already had your moment, Stig. Oh, well, that's that, then we don't need yeah. to speak about you then, do no, we? No, you, you said I was right and uh, I've got to respect that. Right. Yeah. Okay then. But that was a. But our first Porky and Stig show. That was a great interview. Right. I was listening to this day. It's, it's, it, I think it's hilarious. Right. Uh, you did just say that I looked like I've been training, didn't you? You look like you've been training. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> right, Stig's loving this. He's reveling in it. Oh yeah. Right, right Stig. Who do you think looks fitter, me or Carl, me or Carl Froch? Carl Froch. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him that. To be fair. Right. But I'm. Pu would you say I'm pushing him? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, everybody's looking at you when you do that laugh. <laughs> yeah, but it's just the way it is, Russ. It's fine. I go. I go. Know you're on this. Not no. No one knows me here. Really. I don't know anyone here that I that I. I, can't, I don't recognise anyone that I know. No. All right then. Right here we go. Tyson Fury, Steve. Yeah. Right. Yeah, baby. How many world title wins has he got? The Russ. Well, let's not go over this no, again. No. How many has he got? Two. Russ, I think you are excellent. No, I'm just asking you answer a question. Two. World title wins. Two. Yeah, two. How many, t how many times has he defended a belt? Well, he's defended Lineal quite a few times now, Russ. What, what you, he's, he's only just got Lineal back. He's never got, got it back. He that retired, was... didn't he? Or got banned for oh. <laughs> Was he beaten, Russ? You don't lose Lineal, Lennox, Russ. Lewis Let's Lennox, not go. Not come if on, he comes Russ. back now, Lennox, is he still Lineal? Well, he, Lennox can come back and fight Tyson any time you like. Who's going to win that? <laughs> you, 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 you <laughs> right. Does Anthony Joshua beat Fury? No way. Come on. Right. Okay. We both I mean, agree. I, what's, all, both agree on that, what's all this about? I was listening to Bernard Hopkins. On the uh, ringside, toe to toe. Not Saying last. Joshua beats him. Yeah. You know why he said he's it? got. Well, well listen you, to me. Listen to me. Yeah, you, you know tell. No, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, you tell me. Right. Do you know why he said it? I've probably. I've got a rough idea. Right. I'll tell you why he said it. Sky might be on Skid Row. Right. Well, Dazone are coming to England, aren't they? Mm. Who's Dazone's biggest customer? Who do they look after? Who's biggest star in the world? Uh, uh, Canelo. Yeah. yeah. Canelo. Right. Who's Canelo's promoter? Uh, what's his name? The old um, Oscar De La Hoya. And Golden Boy. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya and... Design. No. Oh, Matchroom. No. Oscar, Oscar De... De La Hoya doesn't own all Golden Boy, does he? Hopkins and Shane Mosley own it with him. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oscar fronts it. He started it, didn't he? They okay. bought in, didn't they? All right. Now, the point I want to make is... They think Joshua beats Fury. They, <laughs> they, they, know they ain't thinking, they mate. Stig. Right. You're talking over me. Let me off the floor. Right. They think that he's going to beat him, don't they? We agree on that, don't we? 
But they're going to say that because Joshua might end up signing with them. Do you see where I'm coming from? Okay. Can't go to Bob Barron because Tyson's with him, isn't he? Yep. Uh, so if Joshua decided to go with Dazone, who are going to come who are in England now, yep. Golden, Dazone will be his American partners, won't they? And Dazone will be his English partners instead of Sky. See where okay. I'm coming from? Okay. Right. That when when people like Hopkins start coming out with stuff like oh Joshua which is beats Tyson, nonsense, which is nonsense, nonsense. He looked frightened to death against Ruiz in the first one, and the <laughs> second one, and he pinched the second one, didn't he? It wasn't impressive, was it? No. And, it, and Ruiz, Ruiz did himself no justice, right. did he? So think about that. Right. So we both agree that Tyson Fury is going to be wilder, yeah? No, I don't think he's going to. <laughs> This is a sneak exclusive. I've changed camps. I'm now I'm now a rabid AJ fan. <laughs> AJ. I said Wilder. I said Wilder. Oh yeah, sorry, Wilder, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Concentrate. Yes, of course. Can you see him winning? Wilder's shot to bits now. Tyson took his soul, didn't he? Um, Joshua soul were took by Ruiz. He's only held together by glue. Mm. That's why Eddie Earn and them wanted to fury for it. They're begging for it. Yeah. But he does, Eddie always tries to argue the impression that he's in the driving seat, doesn't he? But yeah. it's utter nonsense. Yeah. It is nonsense. Yeah. Russ, what we want, the day is going to come when the Porky and Stig show <laughs> is the biggest, yeah, the biggest thing in world boxing and Eddie comes to us. <laughs> I only see you every once a year. Yeah. Have you got Zoom, Stig? Yeah, I've got it because I've got it for you. If, the, if this uh, if this video does all right, Stig, I'll have you on Zoom once a fortnight. Well, I can't. You, I I come on when you want me to come on. I'm cool. Always there, Russ. Oh. Yeah. Right. Once a fortnight, maybe too much. You you can get too much of a good thing. <laughs> right. But I've got a great idea, but I can't. Okay, then moving on, Steve. <laughs> yeah. where, where do you think Billy Joe Saunders head, is heading now? Is he going to retire, or what? I just think he, I just think Billy Joe Saunders is a constant disappointment in the scrapes and the and the controversies that he gets himself in. He's a really talented boxer, and it's a shame that. He does, he, he's just been he's been fined 15 grand this week, was it last week? Yeah, he's, got, he's already had an oh, he, grand, the 100 grand, yeah. 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 Had a it's a shame. He's had it's a shame. A grand in fight, he's a really he? talented fighter. There's an airplane up there, Stig. Oh, yeah. That's flying your deep right. Gatwick's okay. over there. And the moon. <laughs> um, he could, he could uh, actually, I think, beat Canelo on points, but he won't be given the decision. And he ain't going to knock him out. There's no way he knocks him out, is there? There's no way Billy Joe knocks Canelo out. No, I don't think so. No, but he, he could win on points, I don't but he won't get the decision. decision. He doesn't America. get the decision. And no, they no. sell tickets in England. No, 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 no. no. So, and, they've, and they've knocked it down from 8 million to 2 million, his offer, because of the virus. Yeah. So... He's... If you were him, would you have taken that fight? Yeah, I would have done, because I think he beats him at 160. But if they fight at 160, I don't think he beats him. But at 160... 168, you could... don't think he beats him? No, but I think he could win 10 rounds at 160. Yeah. I but he won't get the decision. He's the best 160 guy out there. But he won't get the decision? No. No. Because when he was He'll fighting... he rematch. When he was he fighting... Uh, the, uh, up the, 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 the the bloke that lost a beat... Anthony Yard. Kovalev. Yeah, when he put on the, everyone had him up on the cards in that fight and he wasn't up in the cards, was he? Then he knocked him out. He was getting Kovalev jabbed. Winning, wasn't he? Yeah, he was getting jabbed to bits. Then. Yeah. But the cards didn't suggest that. Did no, they? they didn't, no. But he got took out anyway. Yeah, he did get taken out, but I don't think I don't think Canelo will stop Billy. But as I say, the reality is that, that Canelo is much to Eddie Hearn's disappointment the biggest currently financial draw in boxing. Would you think Tyson Fury is now the second? Uh, Worldwide, and certainly in the USA. I think Tyson Fury, Joshua and Canelo are all up there, aren't they? All okay, all fair enough. And Lomachenko. Yeah, I do like Lomachenko. Lomachenko, yeah. Usyk. Mm. I do think... Vince Crawford. Do you think that... Uh, 
Archie Sharp's going to be a big star. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I really I like Dan that lad. I think Dennis McCann is going to be a big star. Yeah, that, and uh, another traveller, isn't he? I think David Adelaide is as well. Oh, now you're getting on. No, I don't know about his value. <laughs> I've met David. I went to Bulgaria with him. He sparred you in. He did, a ca he did two camps with... Oh, so he's a heavyweight? Me and Robin Reed, yeah. Dennis wanted to sign him in Bulgaria. And he sat down and uh, I don't know what happened, but he went with Frank Warren. So, okay. No, I don't know anything about him, mate. Well, he's in good hands with Frank Warren because he knows what he's on with, doesn't he? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I... Although I won't trust him as far as I could throw him, but he... Uh, he does know what he's on with for bringing guys on when they turn pro. Eddie don't, does he? Because they just get Olympians, don't they? And, and they're nearly finished products, aren't they? Yeah. Eddie's not really done anything with anybody from debut, has he? He's no. not been in Team GB. No. Now he does his dad. No. British. No. Actually, uh, uh, Chris Eubank Sr., only this week on, uh, on um, Ringside Toe to Toe, did admit that he actually avoided uh, Roy Jones Jr. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people go, Eubank and Ben never fought uh, Ju Roy Jones or James Tony. Or Michael Nunn. No, or Michael Nunn. And Crawford Ashley fought Michael Nunn. Oh, did he? Yeah, mm. in America, got knocked out. Yeah, I enjoyed your interview with uh, Crawford Ashley. Lovely, yeah. lovely man, Crawford, I like him. Yeah. Good friend of mine. Yeah. And you know him, may I say, better than Trish Dixon. Yeah, uh, Crawford sparred Peter Fury, the same manager, oh, really? back in the day, yeah. Okay. Uh, so he's my age. Crawford, I don't know what I was Is he looking to fit? <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> Stig gets one cider down him. It'll be 12 quid a bottle. <laughs> no, it won't be. I don't know what this costs. It's nice stuff though. It's right up my street. I do like alcohol that doesn't taste like alcohol. Do you know what I learned this week? Um, if your alcohol is carbonated, that means that it's absorbed at the very top of the stomach. And that's why when you drink champagne, you feel the effects of it instantly or much quicker because it's carbonated. You'll, a bit, you'll feel the effects of champagne, apparently. I don't drink champagne, do you? No, I don't drink it, no. No, but you will feel the effect of a carbonated drink more quickly than a non-carbonated drink. Alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Did you know when your horse goes at Royal Ascot, right, and it, and it comes third in races, they send you a, bo a box with a bottle of champagne in? No, I didn't Mowit. know. I didn't. send you a bo bottle of Moet. I didn't know that, mate, but I, I haven't got any it. close friends like yourself who own elite racehorses. Listen, mate. What can I say? I don't like horse racing, mate. I don't. I don't like it. Once. I've never been here, mate. I've I've been to a ball once in the uh, pavilion, but I've never been to the it's derby. It's the sport of kings, and I can see how it can be addictive, especially if you're buying horses for X amount, and then the 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 worth twenty times more than what you paid for them, mm. you know, a year later. Yep. I can see where it's a business. Yeah. More than it's just a bit like boxing, really, isn't it? You, you yeah, know, it is. Yeah. Dealing in people, but horses, horses yeah. but not people. But the, the, the great thing about horses is they don't, nobody can whisper in their ear and turn their heads yeah. and things like that. Yeah. A horse is a horse. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I, I do, I get it, but I'm not, I'm, I've, no. I just like football. I've never, occasionally, you do get into a football match, like for instance, when Steve Arm, Ge Stephen Gerrard won the uh, um, Champions League final for Liverpool. I mean, I was driving, I was working that night, and I, I said to a passenger, because it was 3-0, I think, at half-time, wasn't it? And I said, well, we just need four goals in the next half. And then he got them, didn't he? He, he? That was a magnificent performance. Yeah, I mean, that sort of football match, you can't help but enjoy it. But generally speaking, I find football a bit insipid. Yeah. Nice. But not boxing. But a lot of boxing, I don't take an interest in. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Mr. Lacoste himself. So no. what... So what we're working towards tonight is Russ, because I'm driving him home. Last time we were up here, you drove me, didn't you? So you couldn't drink. No. Tonight, I'm only having one of these. I'm driving home, so what we, we're going for a six pack verification to the touch. <laughs> Stop going on about your six pack, you <laughs> doing me end What, am I, right. am I stressing you out like no, London no, traffic, no, Russ? Listen, listen, right, did you know you got 
17 helmet votes this month. Oh, brilliant. I'm not even... You've I'm, had, you've I've had done, a 300 and odd before, though, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, but I'm... I, I, you I didn't find... even make top 15. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm not... I've just been told you didn't make top 15, Stig. Yeah, but I'm not... I'm not I don't want to be here at the moment, but I'm flattered and honoured when I'm in the heads of so many people so much. Yeah, and when 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 when, when they mention uh, Barry Hearn and Eddie Hearn and they're beneath me, I think that's appropriate because I look better, <laughs> I dress better, I've got a bigger personality and more drive and energy, and we're going to the top, <laughs> the Porky and Stig show. You keep going on about this Porky and Stig show. When's that happening? Well, we is this, we, is this it now? No, this is not it. No, no, it's not. No, it's much better than this. It's the best show in boxing. No, right, let's talk some boxing then, because I've just... <laughs> it's took me 3.30, I left... Uh, I've been at Mark Tibbs' gym today, and I went somewhere the near there, and I left at Basildon at 3.30, I get to Epsom at 7.30. Yeah. Four hours, mm. because I went through London. Yeah, don't do that ever again, mate. Can I put, you listen to me? No, I put the shortest route... Mm. And it went, and I kept. I felt like I've been stood still for four hours. Yeah. And you've got people coming up side of you. We, we mopeds and bicycles, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. How do you cope being a cabbie in London, Steve? I just, I just, nothing stresses me out, Russ. There's no point. But uh, yeah, when Russ arrived at my flat, it was like. Uh, uh, it was like a thunderstorm walking in, wasn't it really? Give Celia a shout, give Celia a shout out. Celia? That lawyer. The lawyer. What lawyer? From uh, Manchester. You oh, Celia. Celia. Yeah. Celia. Peter Fury's lawyer, you've met her at Dennis's shows, haven't you? Have I? The, the, the bird with short hair. Oh, okay. She's, well, hello. Got, she's got horses, hasn't she? Oh, hello. Well, hello, Celia. Uh, you're lovely. She's one of your biggest fans, Stig, aren't you, Celia? Well, I, I can understand her. <laughs> That uh, bird down there, Steve, that one. Yeah, this is some fantastic. We're on Epsom Racecourse, mate. What do you expect? This is a set, this is like, this is a bit like. Is that house, that John Terry's house is down there, isn't it? That's, that's, that's over there. That's over there. That's over there. Yeah. 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 Or do what you want. Can I please have the ribeye steak? How would you like to cook, sir? Rare. Ribeye steak, rare. And for you, sir? Yeah, I'll have a. Uh, I just, do you do fish and mashed taties out like that? Because I can't really keep much down. Cause I've, uh, in fish? Do you know, have you got any fish out like that with mashed taties? We tea? do have, no, like sea bass, we do have salmon, otherwise we have cotton chips. Salmon, yeah. Cotton chips? you got cotton no, chips? No, I don't, I don't like chips. Just, uh, I'll have salmon with uh, mashed taties, yeah? Uh, it's it come with white sauce with vegetables. Don't you have mash with it? Can you have mashed potatoes? It's mashed potatoes, yeah. That's you lovely. can have mashed yeah, potatoes. Yeah, that'll do, yeah. But are you happy with the white sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I please have sweet potato fries rather than chips? I think so, sir. We don't have sweet potato fries right. at the moment. No problem. We're not doing. Would you, you like any peppercorn sauce or something? To yes, a peppercorn sauce, please. Uh, See, I've got to try and compete with Carl Frotch on the six pack front, so the sweet potato fries. <laughs> okay, so that's ribeye rare, the sweet, uh, the sweet the peppercorn sauce, and salmon with mash. Okay? Yeah, well, you look like end, mate. Yeah? No, it's fine. Yeah, yeah right. Um, no, one thing actually, actually we can, because I was listening to uh, Sir Edward of Hearn. Oh yeah, his video on AFL, what do you think to it? Well, he was saying that, um, uh, it's, that Frank Smith is now doing quite well. We're not much room. No, in the fact that he's almost got a six pack. Yeah. I'm doing very well because I have got a six pack, so it, that's another area in which I'm outdoing the 41 year old Eddie Hearn at the age of 55. Yeah. Yeah. Which is chuffing me. <laughs> but there's more to come. The Porky and Stig show is coming like an unstoppable force of nature. It's like in the middle of nowhere, this, isn't it? It's yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Mate. Yeah. It is beautiful. Are you warm enough? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah. Good. Uh, what do you think about Eddie's show at weekend? Sam Eggington against Ted Cheek. Do you think that's a good fight? I think it's quite an interesting fight, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. But there isn't really much else on, is there? Other Not really, that. no. No, but I think that's a good. I think that's an interesting. Point. That's a good headline. For, I like for, both for those years ago. I like right. both those blokes. I like, I like them both. Whoever loses, if they keep bringing them back like this, it's just recycled rubbish, isn't it? But they do do that. Actually. They keep saying that people are having crossroads fights. Jazora 
<laughs> Chisora, every time he's, he loses, he's at Spaghetti Junction, isn't he, basically? <laughs> yeah, but then they bring him back, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's. They are good. Look, Matchroom, at the moment, are the world leaders, or one of the world leaders, in boxing at flannel. Do you want to order a bottle of wine as well? No, I don't, but you can have one. Oh, yeah. I'm not drinking, I can't go beyond that really in the Z. I have to protect my licence for us, it's very important to me. It's my livelihood. Yeah, right. Other than my YouTube channel. I'll have to channel. do it on my own stick. You can. But, uh, I've got loads of wine. Did you see all that alcohol in my fridge? Yeah, no, you, let's, we're filming it, right. <laughs> okay, so we spoke about Cheeseman. Yep. Against Eggington. Yeah. That's a good fight, don't you? That is an interesting fight. I think it's probable. It, it could get really messy. It could become a real brawl. But in I think a phone box. It could could be like that, yeah. But then again, I think Cheeseman probably is the better boxer if he decides to box. But he doesn't like to, does he? He, he likes a brawl. But Eggington likes a brawl. What do you think about? Uh, Josh Whale, what next for Josh Whale? I don't know a lot about Josh Whale, um, even though I've been to a few of his fights. Can I have a, uh, a bottle of wine, please? What wine would you like? Uh, what, what, colour wine do you have, what colour wine do you have with fish? Uh, I would say white. Yeah. And uh, get a lady of, uh, we got nice. Uh, you got what? We got Pinot Grigio, uh, New Zealand Savio Blanc, nice one if you like to try New Zealand Savio Blanc. Why do you have to have a house white? Russ? Very sharp I don't, one. Uh, just, give, just give me a bottle of white, well, it's good mate. <laughs> yeah, bottle yeah. of house white, it'll be fine. And for two, two no, no, I don't want house because it's usually crap house white, you know. I, okay. want I would say, yeah, uh, uh, if you really not too expensive. Fine. So no, Pinot just, just, is just nice. give me a bottle of white, right. uh, I need some wine, right. you, you pick it, but okay, I don't want so house. I'll do it yeah. for you then. There you go. All right. I will put in a reasonable price. All right. Well then, yeah. Right, Thanks, yeah. mate. What are you getting done? Just get it out of the fridge, mate, and I'll give it to you in your pocket. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do a runner anyway, aren't we, Steve? No, we're not doing a runner. No, we'll do that to you. Uh, where do you think? What, well, what, what, what next do you think for Josh Whale? I don't know. I think Josh Whale should be the first superstar guest on the Porky and Stig show when it gets properly inaugurated and sorted out with you and the team. <laughs> and that How do you know I'm not already doing a Josh Whale documentary? Yeah but I but but he hasn't been Porky and Stig in the in the in the, in, in this amazing new format. <laughs> but we need to talk about this Russ off camera with the team and it we need it needs to be done properly. <laughs> the team you yeah, your team, you've got a team. I have, yeah. Yeah, you have. Yeah. My team is currently not operative, but... Your team? Yeah, Russ, yeah, I've definitely had a team, mate. <laughs> I'm expecting Sweeney to be coming in here any minute with your yeah. team. God, it's Sweeney, for crying out loud. No, they, they, were, they, were, they were more classy than Sweeney. Well, they, they still are, but they are currently inactive. But I'm not on Twitter, mate, so it doesn't matter. What do you think to... Josh Whale against Gavin McDonald. Do you think that'd be a good fight? Yeah, well, obviously, you, you, and it's got a lot of local interest in Sheffield, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know how because Gavin's from Donny and Josh is from Barnsley. All right. Okay. You all. Oh. <laughs> oh, you are mean, aren't you? There's a lot of Dennis Hobson interest in that fight. There's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of emotion invested in that fight. There's a woman over there yeah, with yes, a pair of shoes on that's worth more than my Merc. Oh yeah, really? What's she, what's she got on, mate? Uh, what's she got, Lucy and Butte? I don't know, mate, but... Uh, you know what, they're probably all 10 bob millionaires in here, you know, so do you reckon? How do you mean by that? What do you mean a 10 bob millionaire? All fur coat, no knickers. Oh, hey, oh that's, that's all right. <laughs> Moving on, then. Yeah. Stig, what do you think about... Eddie and really, what do you think about him? I think I'm better. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think that I think that we could be a lot bigger. We? Who's this we? You and me. It's going to happen to me, mate, all on my own. But would you rather be the biggest, or would you rather be not? My <laughs> channel's small. Yeah, but that's at the moment, mate. I can see the potential, yeah. and there's no two ways about it. I've got energy and drive and enthusiasm. 
no quit. And you even said yourself to me this week on the phone, didn't you? You're a good promoter, I'll give you that. You did say well, you're that. Right, you're good at promoting yourself, aren't you? Well, it, well, what's Eddie Hearn doing? Who would you rather meet? Who would you rather be? Have Eddie Hearn's got Dazzle Sky yeah. IFL in his pocket and behind got, the gloves, boxing social. Yeah, but I've He's got, got you. all the platforms. Yeah, but I've got you. Who's more real, me, you, or Eddie? Or us two, or Eddie, or me, or Eddie, who's more real? Eddie your... Hearn's an harder worker than me. He's a grafter, Eddie. Do you think I'm forget, a grafter? Forget all the rubbish he comes out with. Eddie Hearn is a grafter, I'll mate. give you that. You've got you, a... Would you say I'm a grafter? <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah. Eddie, I mean, I, I can't, is a do, do you regard it as graft for you to do live streams on to to, to boxing nights? Well, there's a lot of in things. Your flat. I, I, I can I, I can uh, do live streams if I want, but yeah. there's there's I have to run it through other people. I can't just go off and do stuff without asking. So there's there's things in pipeline, but. You've got to understand that. But do you regard that as work? Let's say you no, have... No, no, listen, listen. Let's cut. <laughs> yes. This channel, right, whatever I do with this channel, we have to have meetings about it and then we have to look at it. And there's time consuming. And, and, and don't forget, people are already... You've just seen some invoices that we yeah, get. Yeah, yeah. People are already pulled out with other stuff trying to help me. And... You can't just, oh, do she, Russia should be doing this, Russia should be doing that. Russ, why don't you do this? Well, Russ, why don't you do that? If I were to answer every single email that I get, and I've showed you them, and I'd be snowed in. Yeah. yeah that's me. Thank you very much. Oh, lovely. There we go, guys. Thank you very much. You're very Looking very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you want a glass of this? No, stuff? I don't, mate. You don't want no, no. Right. No. no. I did get drunk last time we did a video, didn't we? Oh, yeah. But that was at the Derby Arms across the road. Don't know, mate. I've heard of it, Stig. No. And it ain't got a cork. No, exactly. Mind you, the, the rosé in my fridge hasn't got a cork either. You got this grog down, mate. But. If do I you, were to do answer, do you get violent when you're drunk, Russ? No, good. If I were, <laughs> if I were to answer every email stick that I got asked, it would be hard work. So all the ideas that people send me, I do try to reply. But some some ideas are a bit. Somebody keeps asking me to do an Edwin Edwin Valerio video, and I keep saying I'm going to do it, but it always slips my mind. Okay. But I will do it soon. So. Okay. I, w I haven't forgot the, the, the gentleman that asked me. So, all right, so thank you for sending the email. Cheers to Terry Fox as well, who wrote that book, uh, Randolph Turpin book. He sent, oh, me, right. he sent me the book. Yeah. He sent me a photograph as well of Randolph Turpin and his brothers. Have you been to his And No, I'm going to go see him. And Sugar Ray Robinson. Yep. All sat. Yep. I think you've seen that picture, haven't you? Yeah. Well. I well, know about the fight. Two fights. He beat him in the first one, didn't yeah. he? White City. Oh, it's cool. Uh, so, thank you very much, Terry. But, uh, but like I said, thank you for everybody sending all the ideas in, but some of them are a bit mad, some of them are good, but it's, it's not all just my decision no more. I don't, I can't just make decisions like that. Kevin. Both Kevins. This is a quality product. <laughs> Both Kevin. Why was other Kevin? Sorry, yeah, the one Kevin. Just the one Kevin. There's only one. It's uh, it's not all my decisions, but thank you very much for sending the stuff in, the the ideas. So, right. There was something else I wanted to uh, ask. Oh, do you think Carl Zaggy uh, would have lost against Carl Froch when they fought? I do. I know you do. I think do. he'd have knocked him out because he was he were ripe in 2008 to get chinned because he got chinned twice in his last two fights, didn't he? He did, yeah. And I think if Frotch had got it, got in with, in with him, he'd, he'd finished him off. Yeah, but 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 back up four year, it'd have been an hard. Uh, the best Frotch against Carl Zaggy would have been an, would have been an hard one for Carl. But I think 2008, I think he knocked him out. So if you if you uh, if you if, oh you Carl Zaggy fans, you hate that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think Carl Frotch is great. Beer's kicking in now. I think I think uh, Joe Carl Zaggy was great. Does Josh Whale knock out Gavin McDonald? I don't know, I haven't really studied the whole situation. I think he ices him. Good. And that'll make you happy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, Josh, are you gonna uh, shout out to Josh Well, who I've got a video, haven't I, of me giving him a hug in Sheffield. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you were doing his head in, weren't you? Well, I was giving. While him his dad was stood next to you, you remember? I was being affectionate. You were being affectionate. You were mauling him. Yeah, I was a bit drunk. So yeah, but I would like you to be the uh, inaugural inaugural guest, Josh, on the, uh, the 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 real Porky and Stick show when. When it gets when it goes through all the planning stages and we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Alright. We've got to get past Kevin though. I think that's about it really, we're gonna wrap it up. Oh we? Uh, well, why do you want to, well, what, what else is there to talk about? No, you're I'm going sure. off you're going off key. No, I'm not, I'm bang on key, baby. Alright then. I know I, I know Who's greatest pound for pound fighter in the last twenty five year? From where? What this country? From the world. Hey, I tell you what, I couldn't believe Floyd that. Mayweather. Yeah, okay. All right. Fair enough. Have you ever I was seen listening to him, I was listening to him. He was talking to some rapper on his on his, his cha an A channel probably yesterday, and he does talk. He's 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 not a fool, that's for sure. Have you seen Floyd Mayweather's fight against General Hernandez when he first won the world title? No. All you boxing fans out there, go and watch Floyd. I'm a Floyd. I'm fishing it up casual. Are you going to keep fucking butting in while I'm talking? Oh, baby. Go on. Right. <laughs> Floyd, if you want to watch a good fight, Floyd Mayweather against General Hernandez, 19... I think he was 97. I think he was world champion after about 18, 19 months. Go and watch Mayweather versus Hernandez, and then go and watch Mayweather against Oscar De La Hoya or Maidana and you see two totally different styles it shows you how he adapted yeah mate, mate over the, the sorry mate with the Madonna that's a great fight that's the first six rounds he was he was giving Floyd a bit of a hammer wasn't he and then George Floyd changed his style in, in the in, in the second half of the fight I don't think he did I think he went on down in both that's, but he got clipped in summer rounds and because he were getting it and he'd never been hit before they made out it was close and all that but I don't I don't think he was well, Madonna kept coming, and that was always Amir Khan's point, wasn't it? That he beat him more easily than Floyd. Yeah, maybe. Mm. maybe. I think, I think, I think Amir's speed would have given Floyd something to think about. Yeah. Would give everyone something to think about. Well, you only got to watch the Canelo fight now. He may have been behind on the cards, but he was outboxing him until he got knocked out. Yeah, maybe. Well, there's no way Floyd hits harder than, than Canelo, is there? I oh, know he beat Canelo, but he was a much younger man. Yeah. Hmm. Um, <laughs> right then, so that's about it. No, hang on. There, there was some other. There, there, is, there is some things that you I don't want to turn this camera off. You said. Oh, I love it. it. You Steve. <laughs> okay. Don't forget, I left home at four in the morning, Steve. Yeah, I know. I left home at four in the morning, but it's nine at I, night and I've not stopped. That's why I came home early to get your bed up and everything ready and for And I've got you. to go to Kent tomorrow yeah. morning. And you can stay at my place tomorrow yeah, night I'm as well. Yeah, I'll be in the hotel tomorrow night, so I'll not get home on Friday. Right, you're Stig, you're going to get your moment. I'm going to fire ten quick questions at you. Yeah, I, I've got some good questions. Who's the greatest heavyweight from Britain of all time, Stig? Proven. Proven. Uh, Lennox Lewis. Right. Who's the best middleweight of all time from England? Who do you think's the best? Best middleweight of all time? Do you know what, sadly... Well, you've got to give Randolph Turpin a shout. Right. You've got to give Randolph Turpin Who's the last shout. person to be undisputed middleweight champion from England? Undisputed. Whew. I don't know. Undisputed? Alan Minter. Oh, really? Yeah, Alan yeah. Minter. I remember, I remember the week he fought... Uh, he fought Agley, he lost Agley, his belts yeah. to Agler, yeah. that were for undisputed. He was undisputed, I didn't know that. Well in them I days... I was 14 it was, years old when that happened. It was, it was 1980, it was only WBC and was WBA bad. then, and yeah. Ring Magazine, so... Yeah. So, I, but who's so the, there, there, there were, when, when he did that, there were less... There were only two belts, weren't there? Two yeah. belts, okay. WBO came out in 88, I think, mm. and the WB... Oh, the, sorry, the IBF came out in 84. Okay. And that were 1980, so they're only two belts. Okay. Right. Who was the last undisputed welterweight from England? Uh, you should get this. Should I? Undisputed welterweight. Undisputed welterweight, champion of the world from England. 
undisputed. So you had all the belts. You had all the belts. And I should get. 1986. And I should get that. <laughs> Don't you know it, no. Lloyd, Lloyd Dunnigan. Oh really? Okay, no. from was it from South London? Right, Lloyd Dunnigan in 1986, right? Yeah, no, you're saying would you put Marvin Hagler in with Lloyd Dunnigan? What would people say if that fight happened? Well, now we're going to talk about we're talking about Kell Brook, aren't we? No, we're talking about Marvin Hagler against Lloyd Dunnigan. No. Not sensibly, no. Oh no, I'm just saying. Right, so what would Mickey Duff have put Lloyd Unigan in with Marvin Agler? No, of course not, mate. Kel Brook weren't undisputed. No. Weren't, he just no. had one version. Yeah, IBF. Golovkin were known as the man, he'd had 20 defences, yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah. Which is the record. Yeah. And he's got the record for the most knockouts in the defences. I've been thinking about it. He shares that. the record with Hopkins, but mm. Golovkin were knocking people out. Hopkins just. They picked the pockets, didn't it? Right, point I want to make is this. Mickey Duff wanted to put Lloyd Unigan in with Marvin Agler, so why did Eddie Hearn put Kel Brook in with Golovkin, a killer? Yeah, I, I mean, w was that Kel Brook's biggest payday in his career? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I don't know, it's difficult. I know what you're saying. Well, do you, you, you know I were a massive Kel Brook fan, and I, and I said when that happened that He'll get hurt. And he did. He got one eye sh shock it sm smashed in, and he got other one half smashed in, and Errol Spence finished it off, and he's a better KO ratio than Golovkin, Errol Spence. Yeah. Now, point I want to make is, would Mick Whale put Josh Whale in no, Mick, with Mick. a killer at 140? <laughs> Would Mick Whale put Josh Whale in with Josh Taylor? No. Or Terence Crawford? No. There you go. Yeah, but there's... So, go on. Yeah, but they're different weights, aren't they? Kelbrook and Glofkin now, it's the same yeah, weight yeah, difference. They, they are, it's the same yes. weight, isn't it? Yeah. More or less in, in, in pounds. No, that's, you're asking... You're asking... You're asking Mick Whale much. wouldn't do it. No, of course he wouldn't. No. Right, but that's the that's point I want to make is, and I still have but, a BMW on it about Kel, it. But Kel, except Kel wanted that fight and he wanted the money. He he he, he, he wasn't utilised once he won the IBF. Yeah. You know they should have made they should have made a lot more. Who, who was the bloke he beat? Who was the, the Sean Porter? Yeah. That's a tremendous performance. And then Sean Porter has got life and death with Errol Spence. In, in wasn't it? Was that Errol Spence's last fight, or was it? Did he fall after that? I didn't think it was life and death. But it wasn't that. It wasn't. There wasn't a chasm between the two of them. Well, Kelbrook beat him. He wasn't fighting. I didn't have Kelbrook beating Porter. I had it around to Porter, but it could have gone either way. Okay. And he got the decision. He got so the decision. I'm for him. Yeah. So it wasn't the best Kelbrook in against Errol Spence, was it? No, not no. really. No. He was damaged goods. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a shame. Yeah. But that was. Um, that was uh, Kelbrook's choice to take that fight, and I think if I was him, Russ, and I was offered that, yeah. I'd have done it. Yeah. I can't be too harsh on him for doing it. I know, mate. I know. I know. I know. Thanks. Thank you. Anything else I can get for you? No, I'm good. We're still going. Thanks for this, mate. I'll not eat all that. I'll spew it up. Really? I'll eat some of it. Right, do you how, do, so do you do you eat all throughout the day? No, I don't eat. I have shakes, don't I? Right. Just, let me just finish off this, right? That's about it now. We're going to get this scram down as well. I'm going to try. Uh, Stig's had his moment, aren't you, Stig? He wanted to come back on the channel, and it's least I can do. Uh, uh, I'm in area, so I'm going to have a. Well, you got a nice bed for the night. Yeah, I'm stopping in Stig's spare room at his gaff, <laughs> and it's a nice area. And he's obviously got a good job as a cabbie. And them cabbies are loaded, so thanks for having me, Stig. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's been a little bit different, but I've let him have his moment. <laughs> and he does help me behind the scenes. So, all right. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. All right. Shout out to Mick Whale. Hope you well, mate. You take care. Just going to finish off on uh, yesterday's video with, with Stig. I enjoyed that. It's good company. He's a good laugh. And sometimes you have to have light-hearted entertainment when you're doing when you when you're running around doing what I'm doing. You need. I need a bit of light-hearted entertainment and that's what Stig is in it. He's like Dave Allen when he comes out to fight on a matchroom show. Everybody all starts, 
you know, cheering up, don't they? Not that I'm saying Dave's a performing monkey, or Stig's a performing monkey, but they are both funny, and you've got to have characters in your life. So, wish Stig all the best with his YouTube channel, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Philip Sims, is it, or something? But, good luck to him, he's having a go, in it. Alright? So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. I'm going to give you another view of this beautiful area. It's no wonder houses are there down here, isn't it? Look at this. You couldn't buy this, could you? Imagine all them geezers in jail at the moment. Eh? Imagine all them people in prison. And they could be out here, you don't need any money to be out here, do you, with views like this? So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing, and give, don't give Stig a hard time, he's not a bad character. Alright, trust me.